have the perfect antidote for you. Teresa oh. Toth is here now for another recipe remix. Perfect weather for chowder. That's what we're talking about when it comes to chowder. That's right. Can I just say that I'm so excited about this recipe because <laughs> I love chowder, but I thought it was off the table because I can't eat dairy. Apparently that's not the case. That's right. We're going to do a dairy-free version. Fantastic. We're going to do, it's also gluten-free. Oh. And it's seafood-free. Wow. And you can make it vegan. So, if you want to. If you want to. So but if you don't? If you don't, we have bacon. <laughs> we have bacon. Is there really anything else that you need right now? It yes. smells so good in here. Okay, yes. so what is in this beautiful chowder? Okay, well, we're going to, you know, our base for this chowder is um, bacon. We've got some onion. We've got some um, tomato, potato. It's got a whole bunch of different things, but it's got a little bit of an Asian twist as well. Oh, nice. And some of the finishings. So I'm going to actually get you started mm -hmm. by doing a little bit of chopping for Lovely. me. We're going to do some cilantro. Sure. And uh, <laughs> Cilantro, cilantro. <laughs> and cut up a little bit of lime as well. Perfect. And I'm going to get started on the stove. Okay, lovely. All right. So I'm chopping the cilantro. Now, is this actually going in it, or is it just to chop it off and it's garnish It's going to be our garnish at the end. Lovely. Yes, absolutely. Cilantro so, really does add a pop of flavor, though, doesn't it? It does, and it just gives it that freshness as well, which is what we're after. Right. And um, so in my pot, I'm starting with a little bit of sesame oil. So oh, okay. You could use olive oil, but again, because we're doing this little bit of an Asian twist to sure. it, the sesame gives it some really nice flavor. So I've got red onion in here. Mm -hmm. I've got some yellow pepper and I've got some bacon. Yummy and bacon. And we're looking at about probably half a cup of each. Okay. And the idea is we're going to cook this for about 10 minutes until the bacon is nice and crispy. Right. We've got the veggies looking good. And then we're going to add some of our seasoning. So the first one that I'm going to add in here is just a little bit of seasoning salt. And we're okay. talking about a teaspoon or so. Oh, just a teaspoon. Just okay. a teaspoon. That's all you need. I find with the bacon because it has some salt so in it already. So much flavor. Okay. Yeah, you don't need to add a lot. And then for our spice, we're going to add a little bit of some dried cumin. And nice. again, about a teaspoon, giving us a little bit of that Asian, Asian flavor in there. Now, do you like spice, Leah? I do. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So do I. So I'm going to add a little bit of chili flakes. Ooh, yummy. Not a ton, but just enough to give it just that little bit of heat, maybe about a quarter teaspoon or so, but you can add more if you like. Right. Or take it off if the kids don't or like it. Or take it out. Yeah. yeah. If you want to do something um, that's a little bit more mild. Fresh black pepper, of course. Mm -hmm. Just makes everything better, doesn't it? It always does. All right. That looks good there. And then for our liquid, we're going to be using some vegetable stocks. So I've got about, I'm going to throw in here... Two cups or so. Two cups, okay. And that deglazes the pan as well. So you heard that beautiful oh, sound. Yeah. So that's all the little bacon bits that are on the bottom. What you really want to scrape up and put in there, right? You do. That's where yeah. all the flavor is. And so that's going to bring it all up into the broth. And then for our creaminess, we still need to have creamy because of course, it's still it's a chowder. chowder. Yeah. So we're going to use some coconut milk. So I've got one can Ooh. of coconut milk. And I'm all about the full fat milk here. Okay. Not the light. And I'll tell you why. Because okay. Generally speaking, the light coconut milk is mostly water. Okay. And then you've got the coconut paste at the top. But you, it's not good value. So you right. might as well just go for go the for full it. one. Because you but that's what you think of when you think of chowder, too. You think of that really creamy, that creamy taste. Yeah, and when it's cold outside, you really want that robust flavor. You want that stick-to-your-ribs kind of yes. yumminess, don't you? Absolutely. Okay, so for our veggies, mm -hmm. I've got a can here of tomatoes. And these are just the diced tomatoes. A little bit of garlic, a little bit of olive oil. Okay. That comes in, in the there. can, right? Comes in the can, yep. so it's just one can there. We're going to add a can of some baby corn. You can use some niblets too. If you oh, sure. Use the frozen niblets. But again, just kind of sticking with that Asian theme. We've got that in there. And then we're going to add some potato, which most chowders have anyway. Yes. So this is a Yukon gold potato. Okay. And just one that's chopped up. And the reason I've chosen the Yukon gold is because you can leave the skins on. Oh, so extra nutrition and flavor. More nutrition, and it's easier. Yeah, <laughs> Let's of face course. it, you don't have to peel any potatoes. So we've got that, and we're going to bring this up to a boil now, and then cover and simmer for maybe about 15, 20 minutes until the potatoes are nice and tender. Right, okay. And then... All right, and let's you. show off the show. Here it is, the finished project. Yes. It's so beautiful. And we're going to finish it with um, a little squeeze of lime. Okay. Throw that on there. Very and nice. And you're beautiful cilantro that you have chopped up for us just yes. gives it a little bit of color and some nice asian flavor and a little well. zing and a little zing for you wonderful there you go. Teresa, thank you so much you're welcome this Even is life you. changing i can eat this <laughs> you can have this it's this all for is you so Leah. great wonderful thank you so much again of course the recipe will be on our website breakfasttelevision.ca